overall, was this maybe one of the better, best defensive performances of, of the season? Um, yeah, overall, yeah, it was still not where we want to be, but it, it was one of the better ones so far this year. Was there a consistent theme in the fourth quarter with a, a couple of scoring drives that kept uh, break down? Man, we just got to keep – that is an emphasis. I'll say it that way. That is a heavy, heavy emphasis um, and will continue to be. Got to play all four quarters. It's a four-quarter game. Well, um, first of all, that's a big loss, and, uh, and, and we feel sorry for him, man. And I know he wanted to have a big year and all that kind of stuff, and he was doing a good job on coming along. Um, but, hey, next man up is, is always the mentality uh, in, this, in this sport, as long as I've been involved in it. So it's the next man up mentality, and uh, we just got to move forward in that way. It, it looked like yesterday that Jaden was over with the edge guys and Leonard was inside. I don't know if that's something you guys are going to do full time, but what's, I guess, the thinking behind, behind that move? Your eyes are too good. Why are you staring that hard? Um, but we, we're just trying to get the best 11 on the field and, and where they can maximize their abilities. It seemed like the pass rush. They, I mean, get, get home, it's harder to get home against a guy like Bryce Perkins. It seemed like they had more of an impact in that Virginia game Saturday. Yeah, um, well, you know, got to get him on the ground. He's a good football player. Good football player, man. Uh, give him credit, and, uh, and he did a good job. Coach, Louisville comes in with a little bit different offense than what you guys have faced all year. Uh, what are your thoughts on them so far and what you've seen on film? They do a good job of trying to run the ball, man. You know, averaging 260 yards a game, rushing the football, and that's a lot. Offensive line coach, uh, for, offensive line coach by trade is offensive coordinator, so that makes sense. And uh, kind of remind me of, uh, of Boston College a little bit, how, you know, the same kind of thought process behind them. Guy trying to run the ball. And uh, and uh, and so we gotta uh, have the mindset, you know, always stop the run. That's that's every defense on every level of football. Number one to stop the run, and they're trying to run the football. So it'd be a great challenge. How do you balance building on the uh, positives, of, especially the first three quarters, but then also being tough on the guys about what happened later? And how do you as a coach? Absolutely, we we showed the uh, the last four forty nine of the game, uh, and showed the emphasis on that before we came out to practice on uh, the other on yesterday. And, uh, and everybody understands we got to finish. It's about finishing. And so uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're focusing on. That's how we get that focus on it. But not just the first two, now three quarters, got to do all four. And in finishing, you know, Coach talked about having to do a little bit more to cut down on the penalties. Um, what does that kind of look like at practice so far? Well, when if we have penalties, and we've been doing this, penalties in practice, immediately you get the punishment, whatever it may be. Uh, we have guys running around the far goal post or whatever it is. It's something that immediate. You can't, like, let it linger. We got to, you know, get them on that. And also with penalties, at the end of the practice, the entire defense uh, has to do something uh, far as because that one person did uh, had a penalty in practice. So we, we definitely uh, focus on it. Uh, talked about it since the beginning of camp, and we got to make sure we, we actually apply it in, in the games. With the one with like Cooper's, is that a tough one for, for a player, or especially when the pile moves sometimes? Right. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes I've seen that call and I've seen that not called. So I guess in the ju and, and, and the refs have to make a make a, a quick decision. Understand? It could be tough out there in the heat of the game, and they just got to make a, make a call. Yeah. Oh, with Renardo's too, that's a young guy trying to make a play and, and just the timing. Was, is that a learning experience for someone? Is that kind of the, the ups and downs of maybe playing a, a freshman in that moment too? Big time learning experience for him um, on the road. You know, um, hey, he won't do it again. He's a tough football player. He understands the game and uh, he'll learn from it. So that's a good thing about him. Coach Tiger said uh, you were excited to have another helping hand, Coach Levitt coming in to help out. What kind of things, what kind of conversations have you had? Did you know him at all before? I didn't know him really well uh, before I um, played against him. I was at the University of Cincinnati when he was head coach of South Florida and uh, I've gotten to know him. Uh, I like him a lot, to be honest with you. I like him a lot. He brings uh, uh, knowledge, uh, some great knowledge and his background and knowing different things. And uh, I like him. I do. I really do. And uh, he's going to help us out. It looks like Louisville is one of their quarterbacks banged up. What's the biggest difficulty in, in trying to game plan for either of those guys? Both of those guys can really run. You know, and uh, and uh, and they, they understand the offense, and they, again, they're trying to run the football, but when they have to throw it, they can throw it as well. And uh, athletic, man, both of them are, are athletic. And then number six will come in the game as well. So uh, we got to prepare for really not only two, but three guys that they could possibly put in the game. So I know we've talked a lot about or asked you a lot about the run fits in the past. Was that was that better this, this week? Yes, yes, they were better. Our guys are, are getting more comfortable. 
again, dial them back a little bit, trying to make it more simple so they know where to fit and fit fast. The, moving the guys around a little bit defensively, did you like what you saw would be being more outside the observation? Yeah, yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, he, he did that last year, and so he's comfortable there. He understands it and uh, allows him to maximize his ability. But what you got to understand about those guys, he and Leonard both, they both are uh, very unselfish football players, and they want to do what's best for the team. And so you got to love that about those guys. Levante made his way back into the rotation last week and had an impact. Uh, can you talk about just you know what he was able to do to get back in rotation? Well, you know, he kept working hard in practice and, uh, and doing all the little things that he needed to do. He's a good football player, and, uh, and so by him, you know, you get rewarded for what you do in practice. And so he got out there on the field and played for us and did a good job. All right.